hate you so bad. I've tried. You'll never understand the pain that you caused, but I still love you. I just kept breaking until there was nothing left to break. And then I just felt nothing. There's something about being the almost girl that break something inside of you in a way that I haven't really been able to find to describe correctly up to this point. You were almost the one. You were almost it. You were almost my person. The problem with narcissistic attractive men is that they have always got the women that they've tried to get. And so they see women as disposable, but I can promise you, not all of us are replaceable. I try to look at myself, like really look at myself, and it's like I'm staring straight through myself to the wall behind me. I, I saw nothing, I felt nothing, and that's been one of the saddest parts of this for me, and the hardest part is that I am so disconnected between what's happening in my mind, my heart, to what's happening around me that I, I feel like I am merely a body existing. Mm. <laughs> Phew. Listen, guys, that was hard to stomach. I think it's weird and disingenuous personally when an individual, particularly a woman, gets online and starts to cry. She starts to spew out her guts and get emotional and play the victim and say, oh, I'm going through this. This was, I just don't think that's authentic. She has been successfully imprinted by Chad. There's no going back. She even says she has a black hole, that empty hole that's waiting for that man to come back to be filled. Guys, let me tell you something. No matter what you do for a woman, no matter how much you provide, no matter what you give her, no matter how many bills you pay, you can shower her with praise. You can take her to the moon and back. But if a specific guy that she really wanted to be with, that she had genuine burning desire for, left her and broke up with her and dumped her, I'm telling you, she's going to long for that guy. Haven't you heard a woman say, I broke up with every guy that I was with. I rejected every guy that, that, that I wanted to. I mean, every guy that I wanted, I actually got. I mean, I, I just left every dude because she thought she could find something better. But as soon as the guy leaves a woman, and now some of you guys understand this, as soon as you break up with her, you say, I'm taking my power back, and you walk away like her ex did, what's going to happen is you. she might not show you that she's broken, but I'm telling you, she's sitting at home crying, wondering what happened, uh, and, and trying to fathom, uh, how can I get this guy back? And secretly, she really, really, really wants that guy. Guys, let me tell you something. It, it's crazy because she'll get with the guy in the future. She's going to date and mate again and possibly even get married. But let me tell you something that role won't be fulfilled. And if that guy comes knocking back, whoever that dude is that she's journaling about and, and making these poems and memoirs and all this crazy stuff, whoever he is, if he comes knocking and says, hey, it's me, or if he texts her, hey, she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna stop whatever she's doing. She will leave her kids. I've seen it personally. She will dump anything that she has going on. She will quit her job. She will fly across country. Just to be with that guy for five minutes, just to have sex with that dude. She will have his babies. I'm telling you, this is how women do when they get with certain guys. Someone randomly messaged me and was telling me about what my ex was doing, where he was, who he was with. Um, and he was somewhere that me and him always talked about going, something that I would have loved to be a part of basically just living his best life and I was really pushed back by that I was really hurt by that yesterday it's been 61 days I don't try to keep track but my mind does anyway my heart didn't break that morning it was something deeper I try to keep myself busy like you told me to I've been busy with friends with family and with healing but your memory haunts me more it haunts me constantly I can't use my favorite coffee cup. You know the one. I tried again this morning. And that fucking Liberty Mutual commercial comes on constantly, it seems like. My arm still reaches for the remote to change it as fast as possible. And my heart aches every time. It's so stupid. 
And I said on my patio, I feel like you're sitting in the chair beside me even though you never have. Our best conversations were had sitting on the patio. And I love those beautiful memories. Your memory haunts me most on the beautiful days, the ones we would have spent on the motorcycle. Every time I hear one, I physically get nauseous. I loved you more each ride we took together. I really miss those Tuesday nights. Sometimes I feel crazy, but our love was real and it was rare and I know that you felt it too. I don't know that your, my memory haunts you like yours does me, but it kills me thinking that it doesn't. But I've welcomed the sadness that hangs over me every day and I've made room for the dull empty pit in my stomach that never goes away. My heart still has you on a pedestal that you no longer deserve to be on, but it hasn't learned how to take you off of it yet. I journal pages every day, read a hundred books, and beg God to take you out of my heart, but you live in that gaping hole that you left. I want to hate you so bad. I've tried. You'll never understand the pain that you caused, but I still love you. That alpha male, he really did a number on her, whoever the dude is. He made that impression, that lasting impression. This is why I tell you, man, you need to do your research on these women. You need to do a background check, a thorough background check, because you're going to deal with women who are broken. And a lot of you guys are, are, are trying to heal hearts that you didn't break. And, and, and a woman has been tarnished. She's been abused. She's been used. She's been cheated on, whatever the case may be. And now she's going to take it out on you. Now, she even said, you know, I tried to get with this guy and he's a narcissist. He's a, he's a, a attractive guys. See, here's the thing. Attractive guys aren't narcissists. That's what women just throw around because they don't get their way. Right. They get rejected and they're not able to control that guy like they're able to control all these other thirsty, weak beta males. So that attractive alpha male, he's a narcissist to every woman because he can do what he wants. He can move freely throughout the world. He has options. He can hook up with her sister. I've heard women tell me this. Literally, uh, he, he can hook up with her best friend, her co-worker, uh, all these type of uh, women that she's associated with. And she won't even care because she just wants a piece of him. And it's actually competition. This is what she says. She's like, basically like, I'm mad. I'm frustrated because I didn't get chose. I didn't get picked. You know, I'm, I'm basically left out in the cold and she's even bought an apartment. So she probably lived with that guy. I take it possibly. Right. Never know. And she bought a new place and she got all this stuff. And she says she's looking in the mirror like I'm looking at you and she doesn't see anything. Guys, this is what alpha males do. This is what attractive, good-looking men, men who have swag, who have confidence, who have charisma, who are able to get women, who's on his purpose, who's who's not afraid to leave a woman and walk away, because that's what this is about, right? He took his power back. Who's not afraid to do any of that? They leave that mark. They smash, they hook up, they do what they're supposed to do, and then they're like, man, I ain't trying to be with you. I ain't trying to be in a relationship. And a lot of women, they're frustrated. Just think about all the guys. And I saw her comment section in that video has over a million views and she has a whole bunch of dudes saying, you know, I will do this for you. I'll take you out. Let me be the one to heal your heart. I, I, you're gorgeous. You're beautiful. You don't deserve that. He's a loser. No, he's a lot of loser. And she knows that her ex-boyfriend is not a loser because if he, if, she, if he was, she would be crying about it. She would be documented. She would be making all these videos about this guy in the situation. I mean, she's talking about not being able to sleep, not being able to eat. Uh, I mean, it, it goes on and on. She has so many videos. She has dedicated a whole social media platform, a TikTok channel just for that guy. And the guy most likely don't even know, like, you know, about the situation. And if he finds out, he's going to be like, man, this girl crazy, right? She, she's wild. This is what happens, guys, when you dump women, when you get rid of them before they get rid, can get rid of you. What will happen is they'll, they'll lose their mind, especially if they have invested in you. She even said, uh, you know, that we went on motorcycle rides and everything and, and we sat on a porch and talked. Guys, it could be a guy that looks just like her ex-boyfriend uh, and he can come in and drive a, a much nicer motorcycle or the exact same one. He can talk to her on a porch. He can do all these different things, but he won't be that ex. He won't be that that guy that, that she's so used to, that she really longs for. And so many women go through this. Every woman has that one guy that they just let get away, that let slip away. I'm, I'm telling you guys, man, this is what these women are dealing with. 
So they get to the next relationship, they're already broken. They didn't do any therapy. They, they didn't fix themselves. They didn't look in the mirror. They say, you know what? I, I need to get better at this. Maybe my ex-boyfriend or ex-husband said I did this and, and, and I didn't do this, right? So he left me. They don't do that. They just say, well, you shattered my dreams. You shattered my reality. And that's the thing. So many women live in a, a fantasy land. They live in a land of delusion, I always say. And they have this sort of a mindset, this picture that they paint of this guy, and they want that attractive alpha male to fit that mold, to fit that place, right? In her in her movie. So if, when it doesn't happen, she's like, oh my God, he's such a horrible guy. No, he's just an attractive player. He's just a guy that has options, let's be honest, and you most likely didn't fit his standards for long term. Because I guarantee you, her ex will get with another female and he will be cool. He'll be in a relationship, probably get married, whatever. And he's like, because that's the girl he wants to be with. And a lot of women can't handle rejection. They can't handle when a guy says, you know what? No, I don't want to be together. It's over with. So they break down, especially women who are somewhat attractive. Even if she's above average looking, these women are like, oh, I can't handle it. What the heck is going on? And they have complete meltdowns. But I can tell you this. How many men has she broken down? How many hearts has she broken? How many men has she friend zoned? Has she rejected? Has she ghosted? Has she just completely looked over? Dudes tried to approach her and treat her right and take her out. And she most likely dissed those guys. She used them for free food. She used dudes for free drinks. She's done all these different things. She's strung guys along. I'm telling you, every woman does it. This is why I have no sympathy for women at all who get their hearts broken. Now, I, I'm not wishing it upon anybody, but I know what women do. I know what type of creatures they are and they don't mind doing you dirty because in their mind, they come first. And that's what this is about. She wants to come first. She wants her way with that guy. But the alpha male has standards. He has things that he wants in life. Maybe he's focused on a business. Maybe he can't give her all that time. Maybe he's just like, you know what? I'm ready, not ready for a relationship. And he probably maybe hooked up, maybe had a casual fling, casual situation. He said, you know what? This is not working out. Maybe the guy moved away. Who knows? And now she's sitting there crying in a new apartment, doing uh, documentaries and videos about you broke my heart. She's writing poems. <laughs> Listen, this is what that alpha male does. He leaves that imprint. And guess what? She can never let that go because if he happens to come back, if she happens to see him out in public somewhere, she will lose her mind. She will shake. She will uh, have tremors and she probably pass out. Because the effect that he left on her, guys, this is real. Don't ne never underestimate uh, a woman's past because she'll tell you, oh, uh, don't judge me by my past. You know, things happen. Only God can judge me. No, because those type of guys that she was with in the past, those guys are going to imprint her and they're going to have a lasting effect.